G'day, this is Ruwan. Today I want to show you the tools that I um, use to get into the Quick, quick Set Smart Key in Gen 3. Now, if you've done any research on this lock, you know it, it doesn't um, use conventional tools to tension the, the um, pins in it. You have to um, make tools that allow you to push the um, the sidebar here directly into the pins. Now this sidebar, you can see it right here, is located in this channel here and it's this opening here that we're going to exploit. What we're going to do is we're going to insert a um, pick or tension pick, whatever you want to call it, into this channel so that it ends up on top of the sidebar and then use pushing and pulling that um, pick in and out to uh, to differentially apply tension to the keys as we pick them. Now conventionally people use one pick like this and to get it in there we insert it in and try to get it on top of the keyway, uh, on top of the sidebar. So put it back into the faceplate as it would normally be. We'll get rid of this key as well. Get that out of the road. So we can see just here is the channel we're going to try to get into. So what we do is we insert, insert our pick into that channel and you notice we only get so far. What's happening, if we take a closer look at that, so when we're pushing it in, we're actually running into the end I'll just get a little bit more of a curve on that When we insert it, we actually run into the end of the sidebar. Actually. Better if I put the key in. That's what will show it better. We run into the end of the sidebar. Now having the key in allows this sidebar to move. It's part of the um, part of the rekeying process of this uh, lock. But anyway, we'll see it there. See that sidebar? Bring it up, make sure you can see it properly. See that sidebar is moving so what we're actually doing is we're now hitting the end of the sidebar, whereas we want to be on top of it. Let's go back into the lock here. So if we go in there and we're hitting the end of the lock, common sense would say let's bend this up so that we can get on top of the sidebar makes a lot of sense, so we put a little bit of a bend in the end there of our pick. And in we go. Sure enough, we're on top of the sidebar now. We insert bit more of a kink there. Okay, I'm on top of the sidebar now. Now I've got to this point here and it's stopped. Now if we um, take a look at what's happened, we got on top of the sidebar okay, but if you look there you can see that we've actually come out come out of this middle um, opening and our pick has um, actually escaped the channel. So now we have to 
balance the degree of curve. Um, so we need to get the degree of curve in the end of that pick sufficient to get on top of the sidebar, but not so much as to escape the um, escape the channel. Or we can do a totally different approach. Not totally different, but different approach. If we make this straight again, make it straight. In fact, we're going to curve it ever so slightly inward. Okay. Now, of course, when we try that, we're going to just hit the end of this sidebar. We're going to crash straight into it. What I do is I've got this second pick. It's very small and very thin. See the thickness of it there? It's very easy to mould. This pick, we can get into that channel very easily and on top of the sidebar. No problems at all. Now what this will do, so we're actually going to insert this pick with a curve inwards when we insert it into that channel it's going to use that first pick as a guide to get on top of the sidebar we can now remove that actually I've just hooked it up on the pick itself there we go now we can remove that first pick and we have our pick sitting comfortably on top of the sidebar ready for us to um, move on and pick that lock. So that is how I got into this this lock. If you look at the actual um, these tools, both of them is going to um, bring over a caliper here so we can measure. That pick is just over 30, so about 30, um, 0.3 of a mil thick. Or if you're into a thousandths, 12, 13, 12 or 13 thousandths of an inch. This thin one is half that, I believe. Less than half. It's more like about 10.1 of a, a mil, just over 0.1 of a mil. In thousandths, five thousandths. Widthwise, this way. One point seven mil. That that measurement's not nearly as crucial. 1.6 mil. It is nice to have this one slightly wider just so um, there's no chance that the, uh, the thicker pick falls off it. Anyway, that is how I got the uh, tension tool working for the quick set smart key. Um, that's a Gen 3. I have a video of me actually uh, picking this lock using these tools which I'll link to down below. Anyway, that's Quick Set Smart Key and the tools required. Thanks for watching. Cheers.